Hi guys, just playing around with pulse motors again. This is the same main components as the last one that I did uh, with the uh, metal roundabout uh, executive toy as I call it. This time I've got a styrofoam plane, a little toy uh, novelty plane, sort of thing you get at birthday parties. I've stuck magnets on each of the four outermost points, the nose, the tail and the wing tips. Sun's gone in so I can't use the solar panel with sunlight so I've got a halogen light shining on it at the moment. It's not quite right as you can see it's going backwards and forwards instead of spinning I expect if I give it a little help it will go round for a few minutes but at the moment it's trying to sort of self-start and not quite making it. I'll give it a little bit of help. Oh, not quite doing it. <laughs> to go the other way. Fair enough. Not going to argue with it. <laughs> so it's not quite right but it's just a little bit of fun. The wooden frame is the remains of some of those wooden clipped together kits. Over here we've got the insides from a solar rocking snowman. And as you can see I haven't got the balance quite right so it keeps reversing. In the middle we've got a magnet at the bottom a straightened out bent paper clip for the uh, axle and another magnet at the top. Let's give it a bit of help again. I don't know if it would do any better in sunlight. I don't know if it'd do any better if we were suspended. At the moment, the magnet is, or the shaft is touching the bottom magnet and not touching the top one. How about if we try it the other way up? Uh, it's just a bit too heavy to be supported by that. <laughs> I might get another magnet, see if I can make the top one stronger. suspended from the top one and not touching the bottom one. So it's a little bit less friction. working. So there we go, a pulse motor 
aeroplane. You might notice I had to adjust the position of the wing to make it more central. So that the magnets can all be an equal distance from the shaft down the middle. That'll do.